Welcome to St. Paul. I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Pastor Josh. We are so glad that you've been able to worship with us, whether it be online or right here at St. Paul. That's right. We have in-person worship here at St. Paul, and we are welcoming you back to the church to, to worship with us. And we thought maybe it'd be a good idea to give you a little tour to know what to expect when you come. So as you come to St. Paul, you will be able to enter through one of two entrances right here on our main entrance across from our handicap parking. We have door number three. You can come here or on our Center Street doors, the doors will be propped open for you and you can come right in. As you come, you'll notice we will not have ushers or greeters, but we'll be excited to see you and we will greet you either with a hello, a smile, or even an air high five. Ooh. We can't wait to see you again. Come on inside, let's check it out. Hold up right here. We have for you a hand sanitizing station. Feel free to go ahead and make use of our multiple safe stations around the building. These are for anyone to use whenever you're in the building. Come along this way. One of the things you'll notice when you get inside the building is that we do have some areas that are, are blocked off uh, and we're just trying to keep the areas that we're in to a minimum so we can just effectively sanitize our building, all the touch surfaces before and after worship. And so you'll notice areas that are blocked off where we're not asking folks to go through those areas. Also, what we have here at the back of the sanctuary is we have uh, another hand sanitizing station, but we also have masks here. Now, you're not required to wear a mask, but we certainly do encourage people to wear masks, especially to help those feel comfortable who are high risk. And so these masks will always be here available to you. At the very rear of the sanctuary, again, another bottle of sanitizer. We have them all over the building and you can use those at any time. But we also have our offering plate. We're not going to be passing the offering plate during the service, but this will give you the opportunity to place your offering in the plate as you enter the sanctuary or as you leave the sanctuary. Again, we just thank and give praise to God for your prayer support here of the ministry at St. Paul during this time, but also your financial support of our ministry. So we, we thank you and just pray that God will continue to bless us as we make his name known here. So part of our seating arrangement will be to practice good, safe social distancing. You'll notice we didn't redecorate, but we do have these blue pieces of tape on every other pew. That will be to remind us to sit one pew apart, six feet apart if possible. Families are allowed to sit next to each other, of course, in the pew, but we're asking that you practice good, safe social distancing as we're here in worship together. We're also trying to limit getting up and moving around and making sure that we're not climbing over each other. At this time, we do not have communion in worship, but we look forward to our offering that opportunity for the congregation on July 15th to have in-service communion. But until that time, and even after that time, please feel free to schedule a communion appointment for you or your family. We would be more than happy to assist you and to serve you communion, drive up communion here at St. Paul. So give a call, schedule it. We can't wait to have you, dear friends, join us. Again, we just hope this helped to give you kind of a little bit of a picture of what to expect when you come for in-person worship. As always, as Pastor Bauman mentioned, we are here to serve you. And if there is anything that we can be doing for you uh, to, to help you or your family, please don't hesitate to call. We look forward to seeing you again, again online or here in person. We are just so thankful that you are worshiping with us. May God bless you and, and grant you his peace always. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is living. We love you. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless you.